All right, this video, let's look at finding the acceleration uh, and the direction uh, you, with parametric equations. So the acceleration is equal to the square root of a sub x squared plus a sub y squared, and the direction angle would be tangent theta sub a is equal to a sub y over a sub x. Now, a sub x, that is the derivative, or I'm sorry, the second derivative of x with respect to t, and a sub y is the second derivative of y with respect to t. And the first derivative would be the velocity. And I do have another, I have a separate video on uh, velocity of parametric equations. You can check that one out. But let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Let's look at our example. So find the magnitude and direction of the acceleration when t equals 2 for an object that is moving such that its x and y coordinates of position are given by x equals t cubed and y equals 1 minus t squared. All right, so let's go ahead and let's find the second derivative of x. So x is t cubed. So dx dt, which let's just go ahead and write this down. That's actually the velocity. Okay, we'll write velocity as v with a subscript x. That's dx dt, which that's 3t squared. And then the acceleration, that would be the second derivative. That would be 6t. And then the, the second derivative of y, that's 1 minus t squared. So the v sub y for velocity, that would be uh, negative 2t. That's the first derivative. And then the a sub y, that's the second derivative of y, which that would just be negative 2. All right, so now we need to evaluate a sub x and a sub y when t is 2. So we've got to take the 2 and plug it into each one of these. So a sub x evaluated at 2 is 6 times 2, which that would give us 12. And a sub y evaluated at 2. Well, a sub y is always negative 2, so that's just negative 2. All right, so the acceleration would be the square root of a sub x squared, so that's 12 squared, plus a sub y squared, which is negative 2, so that's negative 2 squared. So that's 144 plus 4, which is the square root of 148. And let's see, the square root of 148 is we'll say that's 12.2 we'll round to two decimals now I know that they don't give us units here but let's just let's just suppose we were in meters for the distance and seconds for the time so that would be meters per second squared okay so that's the that's the acceleration at time t equals two seconds and if it was in uh, miles and hours, that would be miles per hour squared. Okay. All right, so now let's find the direction. All right, so the direction, that is tangent theta sub a is equal to a sub y, which is negative 2, over a sub x, which is 12. So tangent theta sub a is equal to negative one-sixth. All right, now we need, to, we need to see which quadrant we're in. So if we look at this, if we, if we plot 12, negative two, so we go over 12 and down negative two, and I know that's not exactly where it is, but really all we're concerned about is the quadrant we're in. So that's theta sub a. Okay. All right, so what we need to do first is we need to calculate the reference angle. OK, 
Okay, we need to get our reference angle, and once we get the reference angle, then we can figure out what theta sub a is. All right, so remember to get the reference angle, we'll set this equal to the, I'm sorry, that should be an r for the reference angle. This will have to equal a positive one sixth. Remember that from trig. Okay. All right. So that give, that tells us that theta sub r, and then I'll do the inverse tangent of one sixth. So the inverse tangent of one sixth that gives us nine point, and I'm going to round it to one decimal. That's nine point five degrees. Okay. All right. So we know this is nine point five degrees. So now you can see that we can get theta sub a, our angle here, would be 360, go all the way around to 360, and then subtract off the 9.5 degrees. Okay, so the 360 minus 9.5, that's going to give us our direction is 350.5 degrees. So there's our direction, there's our direction angle, and there's our acceleration at time t equals 2. Okay, all right, so I uh, hope this helped. Check, that, uh, check out my other videos. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.